That was quite a dowry you gave my daughter title at her wedding. Was it really necessary? Anyway, Seidel and Muddle have been married almost two months now. He works very hard. They are as poor as synagogue mice. But they are both so happy they don't realize how miserable they are. <laughs> Muddle keeps saying something about a sewing machine. I know you're very busy, God. Bloods and plagues. Wars and revolutions, all those little things that bring people to you. But, uh, couldn't you take a moment away from your catastrophes and get it for her? How much trouble would it be? <clears throat> oh, and while you're in the neighborhood, my horse's left leg. I'm sorry, am I bothering you too much? As the good book says, why should I tell you what the good book says? <laughs> Please don't be upset, Hal. Why should I be upset? If you must leave, you must. I do have to. You expect me to keep up tomorrow morning. So you told me. And goodbye. Great changes are about to take place in this country. Tremendous changes. They cannot happen by themselves. So naturally you feel you personally. Not only me. Many people. Jews, Gentiles. Many people hate what is going on. Do you understand? I understand, of course. You want to. And goodbye. How? Your father. The others here think that what happened at Zeidel's wedding was a little cloudburst, and it's all over, and it will all be peaceful again. It won't. Horrible things are happening all over the land. Pogroms, violence, entire villages are being emptied of their people. It is reaching everywhere. And it will reach here. Do you understand? Yes, I I suppose I do. I have work to do. The greatest work a man can do. Then goodbye, Pooch. Huddle. Before I go, there is a certain question I wish to discuss with you. Yes? A political question. What is it? The question of marriage. This is a political question. In a theoretical sense, yes. You see, uh, the relationship between a man and a woman known as marriage is based on mutual beliefs, a common attitude and philosophy towards society. And affection? Yes, yeah, and, yeah, and affection. Uh, but uh, this relationship reflects uh, unity and solidarity. And affection? Yes, and affection. And personally, I am in favor of it. Do you understand? Yes, I think you are asking me to marry you. In a theoretical sense, yes. <laughs> I was hoping you So I take it you agree? And we can consider ourselves engaged even though I'm going away? I'm very happy, Helen. Very happy. So my pretty. What is it? I used to tell myself that I had everything. I had an aim in life, and that was everything, but now I even have you. I have something that I would die for, someone I can live for too. Yes, now I have everything, not only everything, I have a little bit more. Besides having everything, I know Could there be a wife to share so 
They want to be blessed, unthinkable. I'll lock her up in her room. I could. I should! But look at my daughter's eyes. She loves you. All right, children, you have my permission and my blessing. Oh, thank you, Papa. You don't know how happy that makes me. Uh, thank you, Papa. Thank you. What else could I do? I tell Golda another dream. <laughs> Perhaps if you tell her something like I'm going to visit a rich uncle, something like that. Please, Perchick, I can handle my own life. Go on there! Go on there! Go on there! I'm not going. <laughs> 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 I, um, I, I, I've just been speaking with, uh, with Hubble and Perchick. Well? They seem to be very fond of each other. Well... Well, um... Uh, I've decided to give them my permission to become engaged. What?! Just like, Just like this, without even asking me! Who asked you? I'm the father! And who is he?! A pauper. He has nothing, absolutely nothing. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I, I hear he has a, uh, a rich uncle. <laughs> He's a good man, though. I like him. He's a little crazy, but I like him. What's more important, Huddle likes him. Huddle loves him. So what can we do? It's a new world, a new world, love. Uh, Golda, do you love me? Do I what? <laughs> do you love me? Live with him, fought with him, 
it doesn't change a thing.
he in bad trouble? That hero of yours? Arrested? And convicted? Yes. But he did nothing wrong. He cares nothing for himself. Everything he does is for humanity. But if he did nothing wrong, he wouldn't be in trouble. Papa, how can you say that? What wrongs did Joseph do and Abraham and Moses? And they had troubles. But why won't you tell me where he is? It's Joseph of yours. It is far from He is in a settlement in Siberia. Siberia? And he asked you to leave your father and mother and, and go off and join him in that frozen wasteland and marry him there? No, Papa. He did not ask me to go. I want to go. I want to help him do his work. It is the greatest work a man can do. Father, Father, how can I hope to make you understand why I do what I do? Why I must travel to a distant land? his hand.
I am. Greg Walker. Did you hear? Did you hear? A new arrival at Metal and Zydals. A new arrival at Metal and Zydals. I must congratulate. Bye bye, bye bye. Did you hear? A new arrival at Metal and Zydals. Muzzle Talk. Muzzle Talk. Shino, where are you running? To my boy Model. There's a new arrival there. Muzzle Talk. Muzzle Talk. Muzzle Talk. sewing machine. I see, I see. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Good day. Good day, Fiedka. How does it work? You see, it's amazing. <laughs> Just move your hand. Talk to your father. No, but that would be the worst thing, I'm sure of it. Let me try. Oh, I'll talk to him, I promise. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good day. Good day. What were you and he talking about? Nothing. We were just talking, Papa. Fienka and I have known each other for a long time now. Tara, I would feel much better if you two would remain friends from a distance. You must not forget who you are and who that man is. He has a name, Papa. Of course. All creatures on earth have a name. Fienka's not a creature, Papa. Fienka's a man. And who says that he isn't? It's just that he is a different kind of man. As the good book says. To each shall seek his own. Mr. Freddy. Which translated means, a bird may love a fish, but where would they build a home together? The world is changing, Papa. No, Papa. Some things do not change for us. Some things will never change. We don't feel that way. We? Fiat can I. We want to be married. Are you out of your mind? Don't you know what that means, marrying outside of the faith? But Papa... No, Papa! I said no! Never speak about this again. Never mention his name again, and never speak to him again. Do you understand me? Yes, Papa, I understand you. You're finally here. Let's go home, it's time for supper. I want to see Model's new sewing machine. You'll see it some other time, it's late. Quiet, woman! Before I get angry! And when I get angry! Even flies don't dare to fly. <laughs> I'm very frightened of you. <laughs> After we finish supper, I'll faint. Come home. Golda, I am the man in the family. I am the head of this house. And I want to see Model's new sewing machine now.
Now let's go home. two legs. Why can't he on three? I know. I'm very upset about my horse. He has the same rights I have. The right to be hungry. The right to be sick. The right to work like a horse. Dear God, I'm sick and tired of pulling this car. I know. I know. I'll push it a while. Tavia. Tavia. What? What is it? It's Kava. She left home this morning with Fietka. What? I searched everywhere for her. I. I even. I even went to the priest. He told me they were married. Go right. <laughs> home, Golden. We have other children at home. Go home, Golden. You have work to do. I have work to do. But, but Kava! Kava is dead to us! Oh, no. We will forget her! Go home!
Papa, I want to talk with you. Papa, stop! And just listen to me. Papa, I beg you to accept us. Everything I believe in. On the other hand, can I deny my own child? On the other hand, how can I turn my back on my faith? On my people? If I bend that far, I will break. On the other hand, Because you knew him so well, maybe he told you what is true and what is not. What rumors? Some, someone from Zolda and set down an edict issued for Petrograd. Shh. <clears throat> good evening, Your Honor. What's the good news in the world? I see you have company. They are my friends. It's just as well. What I have to say is for their ears also. How much time do you need to sell your house and all your household goods? Why should I sell my house? Is it in anybody's way? I came in to tell you that you're going to have to leave Anatevka. Yes. And how did I come to deserve such an honor? Not just you, of course, but all of you. <laughs> At first I thought you might be spared, Tevia, because your daughter Hava, my daughter is dead! I understand. At any rate, it affects all of you. You have to leave. No, we can't! But this little corner of the world has always been our home. Why should we leave now? I don't know why! There's trouble in the world, there's... There's troublemakers. Like us! You aren't the only ones. Your people must leave all the villages. Slowed and rubble left. The whole district must be empty. <laughs> I have an order here. And it says you must sell your homes and be out of here in three days. That's not going to happen! And you, who have known us all your lives, you would, you would carry out this order? I have nothing to do with it, don't you understand? We understand. <laughs> what if we refuse to go? Yeah, what if we stay in our homes? And fight. <laughs> Against our army. I wouldn't advise it. 
I have some advice for you. Get off my land. This is still my home. My land! Get off my land! You have three days! After a lifetime a piece of paper and get thee out! We should get together with the people of Saluted. Maybe they have a plan. We have to fight for our land, an eye for an eye, a tooth for our tooth. Very good. That way the whole world will be blind and toothless. Rabbi, we have been waiting for the Messiah all of our lives. Would it now be a good time for him to come? I guess we'll just have to wait for him someplace else. Meanwhile, let's go pack. Where will I go with my wife, my children? I have more than a hundred bottles of vodka. What will I do with them? Well, Anadavka hasn't exactly been the garden of Eden. After all, what have we got here? A little bit of this. Somebody should have set a match for this place years ago. A bench. A drink. So what's a stove? A house. People who pass around in town don't even know they've been here. Just doesn't know it yet. I wish you and the baby were coming with us. We'll be staying in Warsaw until we have enough money to join you.
muddle. Be careful with these. My mother and father, may they rest in peace, gave them to us on our wedding day. Come, children. Let me back the rest of the clothes. Because I have such news for you. Go, my darling. You remember yesterday I told you I didn't know where to go. What to do with these soul bones? Now I know. If you want to know? I'll tell you. Go, the darling. All my life I've dreamed of going to one place, and now I'll walk, I'll crawl, I'll get there. You know where? You'll never get Every year at Passover, what do we say? Next year in Jerusalem, next year in the Holy Land. You're going to the Holy Land. You get. And you know I, in my sleep, my husband, my Aaron, came to me and said, Yente, <laughs> go to the Holy Land. <laughs> Usually, of course, I wouldn't listen to him, because, good as he was, too much brains, he wasn't blessed. <laughs> So I'm going to the Holy Land. And do you want to know what I'll do there? I am a matchmaker, no? I'll arrange marriages, yes? So I'm going to the Holy Land to help our people increase and multiply. It is my mission. So goodbye, God. Goodbye, Anta. Be well. I'm going. Peace. Maybe next time, go there. And we will meet on happier occasions. Until then, we suffer. We suffer. We suffer in silence. Right? Of course, right. <laughs> We'll all be together soon. Zygo, Model, and the baby, they'll come too, you'll see. And Model is a person. <laughs> and Hoddle and Perchik, when will we see them? Why, do they come visiting us from Siberia every Sabbath? You know what she writes. He sits in prison, she works. Soon he will be set free, and together they will turn the world upside down. She couldn't be happier. And the others will be with us? Not all. All. Come, Gilda, we have to get finished. I still have to sweep the floor. Sweep the floor? I don't want to leave a dirty house! Well, Tevye and Moth. Where are you going? To Chicago, in America. My wife. For Miss Sarah, may she rest in peace, has a brother there. That's nice. 
I hate him. <laughs> but the relative is a relative. Zaido, are they finished inside? Almost, Papa. To. I want to say goodbye to him. He will not listen to you. But at least he will hear. <laughs> Maybe it'd just be better if I got him inside and told him. Huh? Stay.